What is up guys? Phil Shocker the Nice Day Central here and we are here for our week two battle. We Week two team builder of APA low tier. We are going against one of the main commissioners of the league, but more importantly, the main commissioner, if not the owner of APA himself. We are going against Panther 2, aka Panther in his Carolina Cliff Fables. I am looking forward to this, guys, that did not know. I actually faced Panther once before, and he 6 0 me because I was an idiot and didn't play right and didn't play smart. But this is a new league, new teams, no way where there's no advantage. But Panther's team is scary, and I don't know if I have to win winning this one, but I got a team that he's probably not going to predict. So let's break down his team, though. He's got Gore Guys, which can run any type of form, and we'll go over with the form I think he's going to run most likely. Tox, Toxicroak, Kangaskhan. Ente, Noivern, Diancy, Slow King, Morpeko, Articuno, Steelix, and the Marowak. Um, so his team can run Trick Room, which is really scary. Um, his only way to remove hazards is Defog, so that's going to be something we're going to be really looking at in, potentially in this matchup. Spoiler, not going to. But um, Panther's team is just also really defensive, but also very offensive at the same time. Um, for his Gore guys, he's bringing Super, 100%. Gore guys Super makes the most sense for my team because it's the bone that hits the most hardest and is the more more defensive one. So, it's just going to be super tough for him to beat my team. It's it, it's just really going to be hard for him to beat my team with without having Super there. So, this is going to be very close. I think if I, I got to really play my match... Carefully if I want to win this game, but again, um, I could potentially see Panther also wanting to bring Slowking or more Peko. His last three are right there is Articuno, Steelix, and Marowak. I don't think it made too much sense in this matchup. I'm going to be honest with you, they don't do too much in this game, and plus they just beat stuff down if they really wanted to. Um, I really think Slowking could potentially come over something like maybe and maybe. Uh, Kangaskhan, if he really felt comfortable wanting that, to make sure he can fully stop Mianxiao from doing any work whatsoever in this matchup. Because Mianxiao actually has a really good matchup versus his whole team. And that's it, regards. But, let's go down and break down the team we have. Because I think this team is going to be a team that Sam Panther will think that some Mons will come. But I think he's going to be completely shocked to see some Mons on here. And I think he's going to be shocked to see some of the move sets here. So, first off, I had to bring my baby Love Shack. My baby Love Shack. I'm sorry, I gotta do it. I'm sorry, I have to do it every time we say his name. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just a habit. But we're bringing Love Shack to Stack Attack, baby. Stack Attack is a way to win this game. And I have to try to make sure I can keep this thing in. If we do not see Slow King, that is gonna be super huge. Also, if we can weaken down Gorgas Super, then that is basically gonna be a GG. So. Looking at this matchup, I think 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 Jarrah Ball was Spamble, and I'm taking a small risk, but I don't think a major risk. I'm running Earthquake. Now, if he is not running any lot, I mean a lot of HP investment, Jarrah Ball kills this thing one off their shit with Noivern. His only real switch into Stack Attack is Noivern because of Earthquake and everything like that. But again, his main switch in he's gonna have is Super. So Super's gonna be that white block that can instantly come in in any type of situation or like that. So. There's a lot he could have done. Um, Trick Room, like I said, just does so much versus his team. It really does do so much versus his team. We're running that standard stack attack set, but we're running actually Toxic. Now, I have a couple of reasons why I'm running Toxic. Toxic is for things like Slow King and the Gore Guys. Other than that, Toxic is not for anything else because I can beat a lot of things down by itself. Um, toxic could also be good for things like potentially the Slow King, the DNC, or something like that. But... Ultimately, this is, I think, the best set to bring versus Panther to be his team. Up next, a mon that I didn't think was going to be good this matchup, but it's actually relatively really good. And it's definitely uh, Arbok. Arbok's very interesting in this game for the fact that it can really do a lot of things for this team. It stops his physical offensive mons from really doing too much damage to me because of Intimidate. But Coil, Poison Jab, Iron Tail, Crunch really hits his team so hard. Like, legit hits him so hard. For his team matchup wise, Poison Jab is just great to stab. Iron Tail is for the DNC. Crunch is for Slowbro slash the Gore Guys. So the goal is to hopefully try to get my coil setting up or try to chip things down from the start to get things down. 
Um, but we're running 156 HP, 44 defense, and 56 speed up for our bolt. And we're running max attack adamant because I just want to hit as hard as I can. And if I can start setting up, then my Arbok can just go to town on his team. And can just really just do so much versus his team. I think he's not, not going to 100% expect me to bring this thing. So I think he's going to really throw him off for a loop. Up next, we're bringing Guzma, our Galissapod, and I'm running a very unique Galissapod this week. I'm running Burst Impression, Rock Slide, Liquidation, Leech Slide. This checks and shuts down this team 100%. The problem we're going to have is obviously our emergency exit, but that can also work out in our favor if it comes down to the right situation. I'm running 4 and Spadef, obviously just for left, but I'm running max HP and I'm running max attack adamant. I, like I said, am going to hit as hard as I can physically go against him and with this bulk i'm able to take some hits from his team as well and that's his regard so it's definitely going to come down to a lot of things on his team that if we can just hit hard it, there's like little little switches they'll have versus the team his only real switch into this thing is his noivern but like i said noivern does not want to come in on a rock slide so the goal is to hopefully get this thing in a mon that he doesn't want to be weakened down and then predict him if we can predict him to get into his Noivern, we click Rock Slide, and then BOOM! We do massive damage to the point where he is forced into a play where he has to attack me. I mean, if he could have Roost, he could have it. But I definitely think having like a Flying Dragon Stab, and then potentially Roost is an optional set that he could put on there. But again, I really think there's just some things he just can't do too much versus my team. So, there's that sense of other regard. But uh, up next, we're bringing Flygon, Baby Norberta, and this, this is a very, 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 very interesting Flygon set. I'll go in a second. We're running Max Attack Adamant. I'm basically going to destroy some things. 68 in Spadef, 116 HP for our bulk, and then 72 speed. With this, after a Dragon Dance, I am faster than Noivern. I spedcraft this thing to outspeed Noivern because of the fact that, again, if I can live, go for hits, I can start clicking buttons. And when it comes to his mons, I wanted to run Roselli Berry, but I feel like the fact that I could have Iron Tail was going to scare, would be scaring him out all the time. So I'm actually running Lumberry because his main switch into me should always have to be either Slow King or it has to be Gorgeist. If it's not both, he picks most likely Gorgeist versus it. And Gorgeist is going to want to probably low, because I think will o -Wisp, Symphasis, potentially Knockoff, and then either Grass or Ghost Stab is coming versus us. But will o -Wisp is coming, and I'm going to run the Lumberry. That way I cannot be burned or anything like that and try to get weakened down. So Norberta is one of those main mods that if we can get D-Dance up, it's going to click buttons and it's going to pick some kills. Same with a mon that's going to really put in, I think, a lot of good work this week, and that is Wormy the Electros here with 128 HP, 136 attack, 116 defense, and 128 spadef with a careful nature. His team's not really specially offensive, but I felt like having the spadef boosting nature in this matchup was something that we really needed to go in this game because of the fact that his team can potentially be special. Special Entei is something that is viable in this type of a matchup, and he's got also some really good special frets versus us, so... I felt like this was the way we need to go. Plus, with Coil, I can basically start setting up versus his entire team. Jarring of Crunch, Iron Tail. Iron Tail, pretty much at one Coil, should be able to always KO it. Crunch and Dragon Claw. I am basically making sure I cover every single thing on his team, and I'm not running Electric Stab. Now, a lot of reason why I'm not running Electric Stab for, like, say, Crunch and stuff like that, Crunch hits so much more of his team than Electric Stab would. So I'm running Crunch. It's a little more riskier. But I think in the end, it could pay off for us if we get things going for us. And the last one we're bringing this week is Scar. Scar's really good this game. And this is going to be a very unique set. We're running Live Orb with Dark Pulse, Fire Blast, Hyper Voice. He's got little to no switch-ins with these three attacks. He literally does not. His only realistic switch into me is always going to potentially have to be Slow King. But if he doesn't want to risk Slow King, then his main switch in is always Deancey. That is why I have Iron Tail. With my attack investment, I obviously should be able to pick up a kill unless he's max defensive and stuff like that. But again, I can always click Fire Blast, I can always click Hyper Voice before that, and then get the Iron Tail damage and see if that would be enough. But I'm running max special attack, enough special, and just run the rest in attack, and then I'm running enough speed to outspeed Entei. But that's going to be the team, guys. I'm really 
kind of hoping we can pick up the win. If not, we're just going to do the best we can. But that's going to be the team, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Phil Shock and Nice to Tetch Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.